My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word, which is a pain in the ass. But to hazard a guess, he said you're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the Defenders. Define focus. And from a dev standpoint, we got to do something really awesome, which was expand the Nemesis system. And if you remembered from Shadow of Mordor, the Nemesis system meant that every orc you interacted with either died or became something totally awesome and totally unique to your playthrough. The more you interacted with them, the more your game diverged from everyone else's game. And you can go and watch those Twitch streams, you can watch it on YouTube. All of those Shadow of Mordor playthroughs are different. And we've taken that Nemesis system and we've added a ton to it across all types of axes. The types of interactions you can have, the types of relationships you can have with these orcs. But more importantly for us, we can now affect the environment with how we interact with those orcs. So let's jump into the beating heart of the Nemesis system, the army screen. And here you go. This is a full-on army screen. That's awesome. Our goal today is going to be trying to take down orc the Diseased. And Hort the Diseased is a poisonous terror slayer. And he is the ugliest dude we have had this entire time. There you go, Twitch chat. You get some nasty, pussy-filled, gross things. He looks pretty happy, though, for a guy who's got to constantly be in pain. All right, so this guy has spent a bunch of time building up the defenses of his fortress. And that includes adding a bunch of war chiefs to help him defend it. And each of those war chiefs has a number of bodyguards. And we're gonna have to get through all these guys to take him out. And what's interesting is that in the original Shadow, those war chiefs individually were bosses to end, to end the levels. And we've gotta take out three of them in about 20 minutes. Luckily, we've got an upgrade. And that's the new ring of power. And that new ring of power has allowed us to go into the open world and all these guys with the little blue skulls above their head, they are our army, and they look fucking awesome. Look at that dude. He's got tusks. He's got gold. He is ready to go. We've gone into the open world, and we picked guys. We probably picked him just because he looked really good. But we've picked folks that will help us take down this fortress. We didn't pick him because he, he just looks sickly. All right. So we've seen sort of the nemesis. We've seen our army. Ellie's going to make a bodyguard. Nice. Oh yeah, that dude loves his crossbow. So she's assigned him as his bodyguard, and at any moment during gameplay, she can summon him in, and he'll come in and try to help her out. Next, though, we've taken one of the war chiefs, and we've made him a target. Are we going to do a confrontation mission? We're going to confront that guy. So one of the cool things, so we're going to go off script because Michael's here, and he loves going off script. This uh, fortress is a house of pain. How is it still for is we are going to try to take these war chiefs out before we have to go and deal with the overlord. And we will take them out individually so we can draw out Rug the Trainer by killing waves of enemies. And then we, when we defeat him, it'll disable one of the upgrades for the fortress. This war chief relies on his alarm system. Let it sound and we will rely on him to arrive just where we want him. So we've got to get the, we have to get this alarm at high alarm here. We've got eight more enemies to kill. Change execution. Not 
Combat brand. Which actually upped our health a little bit, but not enough. What is that? That's awesome. That's poison instead of fire. Alright, so we killed enough of his guys. I'm here! Now deal with this mess! And he has no shirt on. Because he doesn't. Why does he need one? <laughs> so, by branding. So, basically, by branding him, we've gotten extra health. And one more member of our army. So, there he is. Urheku. So, Urheku is one of his bodyguards. Ellie's taking a look. Rug. Ellie's taking a look at what their strengths and what their weaknesses are, and she's figuring out how to take them down. Where'd you come from? I know where you're going. There we go. I'm a title. Here I am. You want a shot at my title? I want to know why you're on top of this roof on that Karagor. It never gets old. It's been three days of that, and that still makes me smile. Boom! What are we doing? Throwing them off! Alright, one war chief down. Let's pick up some loot. So we've, we've disabled, which one? The fiery siege beast. So we won't have to deal with siege beasts when we take on the fortress. And his bodyguard is terrified. Maybe he saw us doing the punches. All right, so one of the other big things that we've done in Shadow of War is we've actually added a gear and loot upgrade system. So every time a war chief, a captain, or an overlord dies, they're going to drop some piece of loot. And then we can use that to equip it and to work with our play style. In this case, we got a new cloak, which actually reduces our stealth a bit. But what's cool is that if we drain a beast, we have an unlock challenge here, all of our allied beasts will take 50% less damage. And there's a ton of different ways to upgrade and to trick out Talion. If we go to the... Are you going to equip this one? Sure. So we have, we, we have swords, we have daggers, we have the bow, we have armor, and then we have runes for the ring. And each of those things allow you to tweak, basically min-max to your play style. But on top of it, many of them make Talion look different. And we've had some pretty awesome Talions as, as we've done this this week. What are we doing? Shaming him? Shaming him. You want to shame him? They said shame him. Let's shame him. Twitch chat's probably like, stay in fight, stay in fight, stay in fight. So shaming him has leveled him down quite a bit and has broken his mind. So if we see him again, he's a little bit more likely to be loopy. All right, what's next? You want to do another one? Let's take out these war chiefs one by one. This is awesome. We have 15 minutes. Let's do one more at least, and then we can ask. So there's the next war chief. Deadly speed or Thrak the Believer? Is that Thrak? All right. He set a trap for his enemies. This war chief believes he has us where he wants us. Let us show him the error of his ways. Let us. Little elven speed, little upgrade to the movement system. We can actually move around Mordor much quicker now. Oh, I thought you were going to double jump. There we go. Little Mario there for you. Oh, we're 
looking for. Curiosity killed the talk. Oh, he was just waiting for us to get there. Oh, he said a track. All right, Thrak. He's terrified of poison. Well, that's too bad for him. Because our bow not only will poison places, but also make those poison wells explode with bale fire. Poison fire. Yeah, that's right. And look at him run. Oh, we're gonna do this. Is he dropping? He's dropping mine. Nope. Shadow Strike Brand comes to the rescue. You can't run away from that. The Bright Lord will get you. Alright, what are we doing here? Are we shaming him, recruiting him? Recru recruit? Yeah, let's recruit. You know what we should do? We should put him in as our in, in one of our army stunts. Thrak the Believer is now believing the Bright Lord's gonna win. Fantastic. Alright, we've taken two of them down. <laughs> Whoa, there's, oh, those are the traps he said. We're on a mission. We're gonna ignore you guys. <laughs> Alright, we have one more war chief that we can take out here. You wanna call in a Karagor? How far are we? How far are you? Now we're right here. We'll get a Karagor. Was that Michael asking for a Karagor? I mean, when the boss asks for a Karagor, you gotta completely ignore him. All right, so over here on the left, this is the siege upgrade screen. On the left-hand side, you see our army. And these are the guys that we've built up and that we're gonna bring in with us. On the right-hand side, you see the defender's army. And Hork has lost two of his war chiefs because Ellie is awesome. These guys, they bring upgrades, but now there's only two. There's stone walls from Hork, so he's upgraded those from wooden walls. And there's a bunch of savages, so as we get into here, we're going to have to deal with a bunch of those axe-wielding lunatics. But there's only two, so that's great. On our side, we've got all of our war chiefs, and we can start bringing in the types of things that we want to bring in to fight this. We can also slot a new assault leader, and I'm thinking crack. Rack the Believer. Done. So we turned him from one side to ours. He's going to bring in some siege beasts. Let's say poison ones. We're going to augment our army with a number of defenders. So these are the shield guys from the original game. They're going to try to take out those savages. And last, a bunch more mounted cavalry to try to get up and around these walls. We have eight and a half minutes to take this thing down. But there's only one war chief. I think we're gonna roll. I like it. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Nice. There's our terror stronghold, which level its level is much lower. So the level's based on the war chief level and the Overlord level. So with only two of them, a lot lower. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What does he have here? You seem curious about me. Maybe even obsessed. Sending this glob just to spy on me? I'd be flattered if the whole affair weren't so clumsy. Google. is our specialty here. Think on that before the coming battle. Remember that? 
when we defeat you and string up your survivors by their innards! We have no spy here. We <laughs> kill our warrior. Nice. I've always enjoyed torture myself. I even like it when I'm the one doing the torturing. We could have had a spy, but we didn't. Okay. All right, this is the Fort Assault, and it is pure chaos. Each of our troop types, they're going to try to get in there, either taking that first victory point or helping others do it. Oh, you got on a caragorn for Michael. That's so nice. Super agile. Like I said, they get over those walls quick. And we're already on the first victory point. And because there's no war chief, we're going to take this one. Look at all of our caragors. It's an army of doom. The Caragors got over, but our army is not in yet. Doesn't matter. Change execution. So we've captured this one. Actually, it looks like our army went through the front door and is on point two already. So capture point B, victory point B, this one's been captured. So now that we've captured the first victory point, the walls are blowing up, we can move on to the next victory point, which our army is already taking. Oh, there's the Drake, there you go. So it's wild, it's targeting whoever it wants. If we can get it low enough in health, we can shadow, oh, or we can take one to the face. We can shadow dominate it. That was half our health right there. Let's join our army. Look at he's just like, whatever, we're here. All right, victory point two. Take it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta knock them down, they're in the way. Where's that Drake? There he is. All right, so we have an ability to shadow mount drakes. So he is now ours. Not that we need to be any more OP in this fort assault, but why not? All right, well, instead of being OP, we'll one by one remove orcs <laughs> with our dragon. So the Drakes do a bunch of really indiscriminate damage, and our guys were taking some damage there. Shadow Strike to dominate. Alright, now Ellie's showing off. What are we doing? Fight? Yeah, we want some loot. Fight this guy. What were those guys doing? I mean, you can't be Blood Brothers. I don't know how far that goes. Poison, the bale fire, the chaos. Oh, Arbenu, you are dead. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he doesn't have that much loyalty. All right, we've taken the three victory points. Help! I'm on my knees. Yes, you are. We're gonna help them? Yeah, we'll help them. It's always good to help these guys. They'll remember it. All right, so you're gonna upgrade this dagger? Oh yeah, plus four to stealth attack. <laughs> now he's terrified of poison. That's great. All right, so this is the Overlord's Lair. 
And to become the Overlord, he's had to make his way up through the ranks of the Nemesis system, which means that all of his traits, his strengths, his weaknesses, have been defined by your interactions with him and his interactions with other orcs. So every single one of these, in every playthrough you do, is going to be different, because that's just how it works. The joy of the Nemesis system. I'm glad you reached the heart of my fortress. Now I'll get the pleasure of dismantling you personally. The pleasure will be all mine. I feel like I want to get him to a skin kit specialist. We have not gotten info on Hork, so we just wasted some shots on that dude. Poison vents? seconds. Are we going to lose the stream? In 25 seconds? Alright, we're going to stay on stream until we get this done. Elven Rage! Awesome! So Ellie has gotten her Wrath Meter up and she's able to unleash Elven Rage, which does a ton of damage, but more importantly, scares the shit out of these guys. But look at that. He is dazed. He is down. And he no longer has arms. Or a neck! Park the disease! Taken out. Well done, Ellie. That is the last one. And the grossest one. Yeah, all right. Save the grossest for last. Well, we've killed the Overlord. Which means that this we fortress is ours. We and suffered, but still we stand. There is a new power in Mordor. You! In the days ahead, we will fight other battles and claim other fortresses. But starting today, Mordor belongs to you! Mordor belongs to the Bright Lord! So by claiming his fortress and defeating him, this region of Mordor now belongs to us. And on the Mordor map, it turns blue. We've gotten some XP, we've gotten some Mirian. Our army has picked up all of the loot that we negligently did not pick up. But Sauron's coming for us. There's an eternal battle for the regions of Mordor, and we're going to have to protect this region. And the best way to defend it is to have one of our guys become the new overlord. And this is where it gets cool. Because these guys' tribe, their traits, that affects the region. So based on who we put in, there will be new mission types, there will be new loot types, there will be all types of new gameplay opportunities. So are we doing a Marauder? With tusks? Why not? And it's these guys' responsibility to defend this from Sauron's forces, who are going to try to take it in the same way we just did, by four assaults. So we have some new war chiefs, these guys get a good look at our army. See that awesome dude? Great. The rest of our war chiefs. what we have to take down. We heard that you lot do two things well. Retreat and defeat. 
today we're going to dish out them. plenty of both. This fortress is impregnable. You might as well lay seeds to Mount Doom. Your weapons will break upon our walls, and so will your bodies. What are we waiting for? Let's show these globs we mean business. That dude, it's oh, ugly. Lord, no help comes. He knows this. Nice. So there's our army, and we're ready to assault the fortress. So Ellie can take this on however she wants. We can see that their siege beasts are basically laying waste to a number of our guys, including a lot of our Ologs. Trying to get away. Our goal here is to try to get these victory points. And in order to do that, we've got to get our army in here. Why do you have to attack this wall today? I had plans and you ruined them! Oh, he's terrified. So he's out. Nice. So by terrifying him, we were able to dominate him. That was actually a Shadow Strike Dominate, which is one of the skills. So he was low enough in level, we've done enough damage with that bail fire that we were, we were able to use the new ring to dominate his mind. And this is actually how you build your army in the open world. You identify the orc captains and war chiefs that you want to be in your army, fight them for a bit, get them low enough in health, dominate them, and then bring them over to your army. And you can identify the guys that you want based on their skill set. In this case, we're early enough on, and we're going to recruit him. And he's going to stay and fight with us, which will definitely help. Let's get out of the bale fire, though. We've got a guy bleeding out already. Once we get a chance, we'll help him out. Nice. The guy's take, they've taken down the wall. That helps a lot. Get rid of some of these archers. Nice. Whoa, there's the Drake. The Drake will also get rid of some archers for us. And we've now seen since they've broken the wall, our army has taken over this victory point pretty quickly. So really, breaking down those defenses really helps in how fast you can get through these things. I hear a drink. Nice. There he is. He's on the ground. Oh yeah! So by doing enough damage to him, we should be able to dominate him. Only one warship remains. Wow, our guys have already killed another one of the war chiefs. Thanks, Kelebrimor. That Drake was not happy with getting shot, that's for sure. Time's running out. Soon there'll be no place for you to scurry and hide. So by helping these guys out, they'll remember that. And that will be a part of their history. And they'll be more likely to help us out when we need it. So we've been able to take the second victory point. Whoa, sappers! That dude! Did we bring sappers? So one of the war chiefs is bringing sappers with him, and they're just randomly blowing themselves up. And we ran into one. 
Where's that Drake? He's out. It's okay. So our army's taking on this second, this third victory point. Ooh. In the throat. Alright, so we've lost one war chief to them. We have another one bleeding out. They're gonna need our assistance. I think they're getting taken out by those siege beasts, yeah. took it in the face from the grog! There's no coming back from that! Well, Mordor, death is not the end. Unfortunately, death means that all these dudes are leveling up. So we failed the siege, but we did take out one of their war chiefs. And we've seen a bunch of things update. Alright, so are we going to go back in? Or do you want to take... Oh wait, should we ask? Let's ask. All right, so there's two things we can do right now. We can go back in and just straight try to do it. We have about 12 minutes. Or we can try to take out a couple of these war chiefs on their own, sort of more in the open world portion of it. So it's up to you guys. What do you guys want to do? Go back in or take them out? Go back in. All right, let's do it. You're like, oh, well, maybe we could do the other one. That sounds pretty cool, too. It is cool. But we like, we like taking out war chiefs. Little double jump. We've definitely updated and improved a lot of the movement through the world, making it a little bit quicker and easier to navigate. I'm not giving the sh same spiel. I gave it five minutes ago. Same stuff happens, except now, if you see on the right hand side, they're missing one of their war chiefs, which means that upgrade isn't going to be there, and that was uh, fire spouts. So they will not have fire spouts on their walls. That grog. Straight to the face. You can't even get revenge on grogs. That's the worst part. You just gotta live with that. And you're gonna have to live with this guy giving us a hard time about losing. Look who's back! Yep. While you were fleeing in terror, we were busy. We buried your dead. We braced the walls. And we sharpened our blades for another go-round. Just keep marching closer, and we'll pick up the slaughter where we left off! Just ten paces closer, fools. Then we'll unleash a wave of death in fire like you've never seen. All Mordor will shake as we crush you beneath our boots. I'll be so happy when he's dead. Just say the word, and that fort will fall. Where were you? End of him. End of last fort in Mordor. I didn't see either of these guys. They were just chilling outside or something. Bring out the big guns. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this man pig thinks he can take our fort. Well. We'll have his heart for supper! So I only went straight to the second victory point, but you see in the background, our troops, <laughs> as we execute with a grog, our troops are taking the first victory point for us. Take it all. 
So we broke him down again, we're able to dominate him. Yep. So by doing this, we've taken the second war chief, and he's now ours. So he'll help us take this point a little bit faster. And you see in the background, point A is now ready to be captured. So the rest of our army has already started to move on to the second point. Now I see one of those molly daggers outside. Oh, he fled out! Instead, you summoned a Karagor. <laughs> oh, that was the dude with the white dreadlocks! Aww. He had been around for a while. You don't get white hair as an orc when you're, when you're young. It takes a while. There's one of our war chiefs. There's the other one. There's the hairy dude. All right, let's capture this. The endless buzzing of the swarm. The flies sing into my deafened ears. Their bristling legs tickle my scalp. Their tiny this jaws dude is disgusting. rend my flesh. And now you will bask in the glory of the infestation. That dude had a bee's nest on his face. So this is Elven Rage. Ellie got her wrath meter up super high and allows her to do Elven Rage, which does an insane amount of damage to a lot of guys and immediately broke Bee Face. There is no way we were gonna dominate. I'm not touching, we're not touching that face. That was you disgusting. Her because you lack the stomach for pain, Pinkskin. Here, I'll show you your stomach and you'll see what I mean. So we've captured all three victory points in the second run through. We can now try to take down the Overlord. We have three minutes and 52 seconds. We've done it faster, but only once. And it really depends on the Overlord because they're all unique and different. We have no idea what this fight's gonna be like. We have a general idea because you're fighting orcs and fighting orcs is fighting orcs. But his traits and abilities are based on how he's made his way up through the Nemesis system. So he's going to, and he's already, he's got mines. Uh, he's going to be different than any of the other fights we had today. A lot of mines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've made it all the way here, only to discover that you're outclassed. Frankly, you don't stand a chance against me. I'll be happy to prove you wrong. In exactly three minutes. <laughs> So he's got a Karagor, he's got a fiery weapon, he's a defender, he's got mines. And then what, that mine took two thirds of your health. What is going on? Why is everyone on fire? Why are you on fire? That was because of his traps. Somebody's got exploding things. 
And by, that's the technical term, things. That's the heavy weapon, by the way. It's new to Shadow of War. Immune to execution. Oh boy. And of course they have shields, so that doesn't even damage them. We can roll through fire. Minute 30. No L shot. Ellie's a killy heel. We need to get some of those arrows. Nice. Get a little help. Where is he? Oh. Oh, he's got grenades. That's why people keep blowing up. Charge shot. So close. Oh! You got it, you got it, you got it. That is awesome! And he's covered in poison from your charge shot! What are we doing to this guy? Before we say, we're recruiting? We're recruiting! Yeah! I add you to my Woo! Alright, stream, thank you very much. Someday you'll get to see the end of this, I promise. It's super cool. But instead, have a good day. Wave goodbye to stream, guys. So by defeating the Overlord, You've taken over his fortress. This region is now yours. Victory is ours! Savor it! Sauron cowers before us! No house We lights, have by taken the way. his fortresses and made them our own! Thank you. Now we stand at the very edge of history! Only one conquest remains, and Mordor will be ours! So you've captured the fortress, defeated this guy, but the most important part is you have taken this region from Sauron. So on the Mordor map, this region is now yours. It's blue. So now Sauron... He's going to be a little pissed. Well, we got some rewards. Those are great. But really what we need to do is we need to set up this fortress in this region to defend against his fortress, his forces. Because he's going to send them back to try to get this stronghold back. And we're going to have to defend in this, from forces attacking it in the same way we just did. So in order to do that, we can put one of our war chiefs in as the overlord. And this is where it gets cool because each of these guys' tribes and traits changes the environment that we're in. And so depending on which tribe and what their traits are, there will be different missions, different loot, and different things to do within this region. So in this case, we're going to do a machine. Sweet. So Luga. This is also a great way to reward your guys because they level up. Look, he just got some sweet-ass new armor. That's awesome. So he's the new overlord. We've promoted a couple war chiefs, and we now can defend this fortress. And at the same time, Ellie can go off and explore all the new opportunities that have now opened up. You guys, thank you very much. You are an awesome audience. This is the end of the presentation. Have a good E3. Thank you, Ellie. Remember me? You tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Ah, I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering. I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. 
So now I'm gonna kill you. For all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> I like him. Rules killed the boss. Come on, lads. Hi, I'm Mike DePlata, VP of Creative at Monolith Productions. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced the Nemesis system, creating unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system enormously. Two of the new features we're most excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. That hurt him more than me. Just a pair. Oh, that was nasty. Our goal right now is to use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olaf. Bruce the Chopper to expand our army. Then we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Reckon you're going to skewer me? Ah, that little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're going to need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. Never happened to me before. You serve the bright lord now. Bright lord, dark lord. Same thing, really. It results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Oh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? We already had a few loyal followers in our army, like Boobol the Undaunted and Az Tamo Rockskull. Recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the Overlord. We're expanding the open world of Mordor to highlight some lesser-known regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor is a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! We just got ambushed by the machine. He's cheated death and tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's from one of the seven orc tribes we've added to the Nemesis system. The machine will grind you to paint! I hate big sticks! Cool, finally! Instead of killing the machine, we're going to dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities alongside drakes, grounds, and other beasts during the fortress assault. There are millions of ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor. I add you to my ranks! I swear my allegiance! Before we charge headfirst into the assault, we should plan our attack. 
This overlord and his war chiefs bring poison spouts to the fight, but Bruce is bringing sappers with him to counter those defenses. We've selected our followers, and now we'll start the assault. <laughs> My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word, which is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a guess, he said you're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. Thank you very much. How much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to build our army. This is just the beginning. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle Earth is dominated. We do not serve the Dark Lord! We'll take this land for our own! You fight for Mordor! You fight for the Bright Lord! What new devilry is this? I come for you, Towns of Gondor! Try not to kill him too quickly. Give him this message! I come for him! 